Whoa, now that is pretty disgusting. Hey there everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another Minecraft mod review where today I am at the temporary TDM bug research facility. We have just set this up with me and one of my helpers over there. We're going to go through this mod with you and we are here to look further into the mutant bugs mod. First, I'm going to show you a few different items we have discovered and then we'll go ahead and meet my little helper over there who's just standing on his desk, the little punk, so I'm going to have to sort him out. But anyway, I will go ahead and show you the rest of the facility later on with an incredible project that we are going to finish on later on so let's go over some of this stuff first I'm not going to show you all what's in the mod because it's just um, it's pretty big and it's super fun to discover by yourself so I'm going to go through the main things and you can discover the rest so over here we've got some potions and in here we can make different stuff that does different stuff so first up we've got anti plant virus A and anti plant virus B so the first one needs an oak sapling and three virus seeds and virus seeds are actually drops you can get from the different mobs in this mod so very cool just kill the mobs in this mod and you'll be able to get some virus seeds and and you need a piece of glass as well to make three anti-plant virus a now this one is very cool what you do is you right click and throw it at something and it will make it disappear but it's not just anything really i don't know why i said it like that but it's actually just trees so if you throw this at plants it will just get rid of them so that's what i used to clear this area actually this area was all covered in trees but i just used the anti-plant virus a throw it with a right click and where it lands it will start to clear the trees away so look how incredible that is that it's absolutely amazing. I don't even know how that works, but it does. It doesn't give you any drops and like no woods or anything or um, saplings, but it does work really, really well. So that is the anti-plant virus A. And in the right-hand side, we have anti-plant virus B. So let's put this one back. And we just need the same recipe as before, but instead of an oak sapling, we need three lots of seeds to make number B or letter B. B is not a number, sir. So we're going to take it over here and throw it on the ground and you'll see what it does. Here we go. Let's throw it. Yes, it will get rid of all the grass in the vicinity. It won't get rid of flowers, but that annoying grass in Minecraft, which I absolutely hate, is gone. So we just right click the floor and it will take out quite a few of the grasses like all the way around. So that is a really, really handy thing for where you want to just make some flat land or you don't want to chop down all the trees and cut all the grass. So up here we have the potion of purification. I believe this will start to heal you. So it's like a little bit of a potion just to get some hearts back. You need a fermented spider eye, a virus sprout, which is actually crafted through a storage organ of the virus and some virus seeds. Now this organ is actually from one of the bosses, but that is because this potion is pretty powerful. It will, it will heal a lot of hearts. I can't remember off the top of my head how many it is, but it is pretty decent. And then you need a mushroom, a red mushroom and a water bottle to craft that. So you can just drink that as normal and that is pretty sweet. And then we're moving on to uh, one of my favorite items in this mod which is the poison needle and it will need a growth organ of the virus which is a bit of a different one i think you get that from a different boss but i'm not sure haven't been able to kill them all but maybe we'll find out later we also need a flint a stick and some insect wins which you get from killing the bugs so you can take these and actually put them in dispensers and you'll be able to fire out poison darts so I'm going to take our little sheepy friend here, put him in front of this dispenser, and we should be able to fire a poison dart at him. I know, it's terrible, but let's just move him a bit closer. And here we go, poison dart to the butt, and there you go. He gets a bit of hurt, and then a short period of poison. So this is really cool for, like, guarding your base if you're in multiplayer. You can just set it up on, like, um, a trip wire, which is really cool, and stuff like pressure plates and stuff like that. So it does only give poison for a little bit, so it just can, like, warn them off. But yeah, that is the poison dart and now we're going to move on to some more stuff sorry sheep so in this chest here, we have actually discovered some pretty awesome weapons we are going to go into here. And you will need to craft these weapons, which are over here. You will need small crystals of virus, which need virus sprouts, four of them, and a lapis in the middle to craft these. And you just craft them in the normal kind of weapon style. So what have we got here? We've got the Harvestayer, we have the Cross of Suppression, and we also have one called Pale Moon. So the Harvestayer whiz can work as a weapon, but it can also work as a kind of like a normal item. So if you right click the ground, it will make a fairly large kind of fertile piece of land which is really awesome and really good for just making large farms you can go ahead and just put it down and make huge huge farming areas so that is cool and apparently it gives a deadly strike on mobs as well so let's try this out and yes it actually kills them in one shot wow that is a bit that's a bit overpowered actually um apparently it gets more kind of aggressive if you are lower on health when you're hitting them normally um, but with that strike it will take away some of your hunger and I hope it takes away a lot because that is a very powerful weapon so this next one is called pale moon and this one also has a special attack so let's take it to this sheep right click and oh my god explosions my god that was big so we can actually try and explode more of these at the same time let's do it oh 
Damn, that was that was awesome. Where do these sheep come from? There must have been some around. But anyway, we can blow them up. Oh, yes. They will take about seven damage, seven or eight damage. And yeah, that is pretty good too. And it will also take away some of your hunger, which is why I can't use it now. So what have we got next? We've got the Cross of Suppression. And this one is really awesome. If you hold right click and then press the forward, left, backwards or right keys, you'll be able to do like a quick kind of quick step. So this is going to be really cool in like a boss battle. So if I right click and then hold right, I will do a quick step to the right. Right click and left will give a quick step to the left. And I'll go into f5 mode just so you can see this and look gives us a quick like a quick step you can hardly see it but it's a bit better in first person actually so we'll just quick step it's gonna be very handy for boss battles and just getting out of the way of arrows and stuff like that very handy against skeletons so let's move on to our next chest which just so happens to be this really awesome thing which gives you a friendly skeleton so in here you can actually craft a skull which takes eight bones in a circle shape like this or square because we can't get circles in minecraft but if we take this skull and we also take two stone well, we can only take one because it's in creative and we build a little pillar like this so we build two stone like that and then put the skull on top we get this which is a skeleton friend and he will actually fight for you look at this he's actually fighting for us he does get hurt i don't think there's any way to heal him but oh my god there's things killing him all over the place friend i'm sorry friend no my god what is going on he has taken them down though look at that he has 30 health green skeleton eyes and he won't attack you he'll just it's pretty good actually look at that he died but he did take down three of those bugs my god that was awesome so moving on to our last cage and it is the mobs cage this one is awesome let's take all of them and start to make some awesome sounds so we've got helena we've got the virus bug we've got the minion bug we also have serupenia carrier bug soldier bug night bug and we've got fly bug as well so let's try out some of these i'm actually going to turn it to day again because we don't want any anything else spawning because that would ruin it but let's go for the helena so the helena if you stand near it will give you poison and i'm not sure if i want to go into game mode zero okay let's do it let's go into game mode zero i have got my spawn set here so it should be okay but i don't know what is going to attack so if we spawn this guy in this is helena and it's just like a little kind of um moth uh butterfly thing if you walk near it it will give you poison so i would stay away from it um they are quite a few around and they fly really fast so if you're getting poison for no reason it's probably one of these so if we move on we've now got the virus bug and these do attack in groups and they heal themselves if they bite you so we're gonna have to oh my god we have to whoa damn what the hell there's so many of them i didn't realize this did you see those little hearts they get when they're attacking me if i do that they will actually regenerate themselves which is awesome they don't have much health but if they carry on biting you that is going to be pretty powerful and my god that was scary and some bugs everywhere and you actually get sugar and insect wings from those so right next we have the minion bug and i think that's pretty much the same yep yeah, that's exactly the same get out of here you punk <laughs> that's gross so next up we got syrupina and this will jump three blocks high apparently whoa what the hell are you? My god, that is gross. Look at that thing. Whoa! <laughs> it's actually going to do really aerial attacks, and we've got 20 damage on that thing, and it looks absolutely crazy. So moving on to the next one, and we have the uh, carrier. So I'm not sure what this... Oh my god! It looks like a spider, and it's got really long range on that. My god, it's got a really long range of poison, and it's teleporting us as well. So a special ability of this is it will actually throw an ender pearl at you, so that it teleports it closer... teleports you closer to it, so it can actually get a better aim on you. Now this has really good aim with its poison darts and will try to run away from you but my get out of here my god no i don't want to be teleported please so i'm gonna go into game mode one my god this guy is really difficult flipping hell imagine if you had loads of these to take out so what we're going to do is destroy this let's destroy it my get out of here you punk i am not happy with you it actually has a lot of health for what it is and yeah we'll take it down it also inflicted me with snowness which is absolutely incredible these things are damn aggressive oi Oi, you stop that. So this one I'm actually going to stay in creative mode for just for now because it is the soldier bug. Actually, let's go for this. I've got um, my point set where I can spawn back here. So this is the soldier bug. This is huge. This is a medium boss. It climbs walls. It creates shields at 50% health and can destroy some blocks. So we're going to spawn this guy in. Oh my god, look at him. It's scary. No, he's got 400 health. I didn't realize this. No, it's like a praying mantis grasshopper thing with freaking cannons on its back. What the hell? Dude, look at them things he's firing at me. They're like, I don't even know. He's like firing his wings at me. Whoa. My god, that thing is crazy. Whoa. Oh my god. It's healing. Don't heal. Don't do that. Oh my god, here's the shield. It's actually taken away my diamond sword. I'm screwed. Oh, here it is. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It actually took away my sword. My god, is it actually going to do that every time? 
Don't do this to me. So I'm going to go into creative mode and take this out. And I'll show you the death animation. Right, we're close to taking it out. We're almost there. He keeps on jumping around. And I think he's regening a little bit as well. Like, my God, it's, it's crazy. Get away. Imagine if I was in just normal mode. I'll be getting destroyed right now. It's using its cannons on me. My God, here we go. It's almost dead. Die! We got a last bit! Yes, we killed it. Look at that. What does it drop? It drops a load of them organ things. and also drops a load of iron. That is pretty sweet. So those are most of the mobs in here. There are a few other little ones which we'll go over in a minute. And yeah, that is pretty cool. So now we're going to go over to the research facility. And I'm just going to go into uh, game mode zero for now. Because we need to go and talk to... Oh, I need some food. There we go, that is better, some cooked chicken up in my stomach, and we're going to go over to the little research pod over there where Denton will be waiting for us, look at him, he's happy to, he's really happy that we're coming over to him. So this is Denton, this is the little laptop that I've got, and it's um just scanning all the area, and oh, I forgot to mention, there is this biome over here. It's scary, I'm not going to go into it yet, I will go into it at the end of the episode and show you um what is inside. These are like poison ivy, we've got poison trees, spider webs, and all of those mobs I've just showed you will be in there ready to destroy. So I'll go in there at the end, but first we've got some really important research to show off. So how's it going, Denton? Hey, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm good, thanks. How are you, sir? Yep, my good man, I am fine. So, good, good. what have you got for me today? Well, today you need to go into this test chamber. We're going to fuse a couple of bugs together. Yes. Awesome. So you've got this all under control, right? Yes, it's perfectly fine, sir. Just walk in and we'll, we'll be good. Are you sure? So he briefed me on this earlier. Um, I know most of this. So I'm going to go into the test chamber, if I can fit through the door. And actually, I should be able to have like a little port of call where I can see Denton. Nope, he has um, moved away from the area. But anyway, he's there somewhere and I'll peer through in a second. But anyway, the idea behind this is there's a bug in there and there is also some Eyes of Ender in there. We are going to fuse the two in this little machine we've got here. So this little machine should light up and then the fusion should be complete. So Denton, are we clear to start this? Denton, Denton come on. Denton, Denton, you yes, need to stop bugs, being asleep bugs. on the job, We're man. Look, stop bugs, it. Bugs, Dude, bugs, come on. Bugs, you need to bugs, sort this out. Bugs, so are we ready? Bugs. Yes, yes, okay. We're ready, sir. Yeah, okay. We are ready. You've stopped bouncing. It's fine. We're ready for this. Let's get through here and start the machine. Are you ready, Denton? Are you sure this is safe? This is safe, buddy. Yep, safe. Are you absolutely sure? Yes. Okay, I'm trusting you on this good. one. I'm really am trusting you. It's fine. Right, I'm going to press the button and see what we create. It should be amazing. What the... Denton! Boss? Denton, help me! Denton, Boss, what, okay? what the hell have you created What's here? Going on? Denton, Everything hey, buddy, fine. This is we need to planned. just look through the window, it's please. Fine. I really Dog. need help Dog. right now. My it's God, fine. what is going on? Denton, Denton, things are happening right now. It's escaping. Oh, my God, he's coming back in for more. What the hell is this, Denton? My God, Denton, you've actually destroyed me. What is wrong with you? My God, this is the night bug, apparently. Wow, this is giving me slowness. And it's got 600 health. Denton, you have messed up royally here absolutely royally and it's healing itself brilliant it denton you are fired no denton no, no i'm no, gonna die me, sir, and you're just gonna leave me in here please forgive me no i'm not going to please. forgive you i'm not gonna say it's unless you fine. save me i'm You'll not survive. going to save your job just chill denton no denton that does it sir Boss. denton right Come here. What's, what's wrong? You are Boss, fired, Boss, my friend. The no, night bug. You are, the night bug came and slayed me. You're lucky that I had this saved here. That my life was saved and my soul was saved no, in that storage pod up there. No. You're lucky. No, it's over. It's no, over. Denton, please, you're, you're, you're please, done. Sir, Denton, you're on. done. I can't even kill you. What is wrong with you, you sorcerer? Right then, so guys, I've done a bit more research now that I've actually survived. Denton, you idiot. You're such an idiot. But anyway, we have got this night bug here, which we've created. So, the night bug is the biggest boss in the mutant insect mod. I have found that it's got this, like, anti to kind of, like, appearance. It looks amazing, actually. This massive bug. 600 health, and we're going to try and destroy it. Let's try this. Actually, we need to get some kind of, like, potions in here. Can we get a harming potion? Yes, we can. Let's do this and see what happens no stop it so it has kind of like a bouncing attack and great it's escaped denton i hope you're happy with yourself you idiot you absolute plonker so let's um throw some of these on it because it's going to be the easiest way to kill it so it's got just one attack i believe which is that one where it just explodes you and jumps on your head so that is the night bug it's huge so much health it's just ridiculous and we're going to kill it with these potions because this seems to be the best way to kill it so let's take it out 600 health my god denton is absolutely just a complete idiot for creating this thing and sending me in there in survival mode. What an idiot. So it's actually creating this kind of shield now and I think its blasts get a bit more powerful when it gets to 50% and we should just give the final blow with this and whoa, look at that. Oh my god, it's taking me out like a boss. So here we go. We're doing one damage with a diamond sword when he's got that health on. Kill it. 
Kill it with fire. My god, kill it. Kill it right now. Yes, let's take it out. Look, two damage of a diamond sword. My god. And he's dead. Denton. I'm still not giving you a job back. That's just ridiculous. Here we go. Right, we have picked up some organs and the organs and lapis that you needed from earlier. So, and a crap ton of experience as well. That was awesome. So, I think that's pretty much what our lab was set out. What is this? Why is there a piece of grass up there? I think it does actually throw blocks. So if it's on grass, it will start to throw blocks at you if you get away from it. But we we're kind of close to it all the time. So... Me, from me and Denton from the TDM bug research lab, which is um, going to be shutting down shortly because Denton is getting fired and I've got no <laughs> research partners. So Denton, you've lost your job. It's not letting me kill you. So unfortunately, um, you're just going to have to be left here in the dark where the bugs can just eat you. So before I end this review, I'm actually going to go into the insect biome over here it's called the virus biome it's got these vines these actually hurt you and poison you and all of these trees loads of stuff poisons you in here we've got loads of like crazy poison bushes we've got all of these nasty nasty nasties in here and the bosses will also be in here later on so yeah this is pretty good um it's a really amazing mod it's really well made it's actually made by a japanese guy i believe they make some of the craziest and weirdest mods out there but this one is really awesome so you should go check it out explore this forest more if you dare and yeah if you do want to try out this mod there is a link to the minecraft forums post in the description below and i'll tell you how to install it in english and all that good stuff the whole mod's in english so do check it out so yeah if you did also enjoy this video please do subscribe for daily minecraft videos i do daily mod reviews and a couple of cool other series as well so do check that out and yeah i think that's pretty much it from me a like and a favorite would also be greatly appreciated too and i will catch you all next time now i've got to try and get out of this forest goodbye <laughs>